country. And I, I do want to thank him for uh, working with us in a bipartisan way to make sure that these children are treated in a respectful and compassionate way. Uh, I rise in, uh, in strong support of Congressman Schiff's uh, amendment, which, as he said, is, is very narrowly defined to American, uh, to the parents of American children and those who are here uh, legally. And I agree with Chairman Carter that this issue would be better addressed uh, with uh, comprehensive immigration reform. But that's not going to happen. And these children can, cannot wait until we get around to doing that. Their families uh, and, and their lives are being impacted right now. Uh, and what, one of the things that, that is in, in important to note is that what is happening with some of these US American children is that because their parents are being deported, right now we have approximately 5,000 American children who are currently in the child welfare system because of the deportation of a parent. And in addition, according to a study, that the, the fear of losing a parent through deportation has a number of negative consequences for the mental health of these American children, including severe anxiety and withdrawal. So I think it's important that, you know, we put, uh, the, this is not a, an immigration issue. Uh, as appropriators, uh, we are not dealing with policy. What Mr. Adam uh, Schiff's amendment does is actually say that money that we appropriate cannot be used to uh, de deport the parents of these children who, and it's clear, who pose no threat to our communities or to our country. So I believe that we do have uh, authority uh, as members of the Appropriation uh, Committee to, to direct how this money can or cannot be used. And I hope that you will support uh, Mr. Schiff's uh, amendment uh, to, to help these American children uh, stay with their families, not be put into foster home, and not to live under the stressful conditions in which they are living today. I yield back. Is there further discussion? Chairman. Yeah. Mr. Serrano. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Um, you know, Judge Carter made a statement and which spoke to my earlier statement. 